I used to do, I used to run all these nightclubs and own a nightclub business. We had like four nightclubs, Red Room, George's Garage, Parazod, um, Verde, and Spice Street, five, okay, in, in Raleigh, Durham, Chapel Hill area. And one thing I learned when I first started out, nobody went to my nightclubs because nobody knew who I was. So my first one I did, there was like 10 people there. It was kind of a dud. And it was like a big club. It looks bad when just like, but some, my mentor back then, this guy named Giorgio Batoxius, who, who was a millionaire guy who owned these restaurants, he came up to me and said, let me tell you the good news. The party, your, your club sucked tonight, but nobody was here to see that it sucked. Only 14 people saw it. The worst thing that can happen to you in a nightclub business, and this happened to my friend Greg, he had 2,000 people at his club, and somebody got killed. That's bad, because then 2,000 people go, that club is freaking crazy. So for all of you that go, what if I post the video and I don't, I'm not that good? Well, then I go, nobody's going to watch it. And what happens if it's good? A lot of people watch it. Now, I guess if you really messed up or something like that and it went viral to make fun of you, eh, that doesn't happen that let me tell you this, if you get a viral video, even if it's making fun of you, it's good. What do they say? All press is good press. I don't know if that's 100% true. If you were like exposed for being a serial killer, that's not good press. Most press is good press, okay? Even if it's making fun of you. I've had people make fun of me 